let me set the scene for you a little bit. The newly formed Mars Squad is sent to save a VIP. The squad is made up of soldiers who either recently joined XCOM, tagged along with other more experienced soldiers on their missions, or just recently passed their basic training i.e. they were leveled up from recruit to squad in the guerrilla tactics school. I figured saving a VIP would be pretty routine, pretty simple, pretty ideal first mission for the squad. It wasn't. The squad was composed of squaddies Jake Jefferson, Roberti Blanco, Callie Saren, and Benjamin Lee, and was led by Corporal Denis Verbiov. Did I say that right? I hope I said that right. The team deployed on the roof of a gas station, near to the target vehicle. They found out and quickly discovered a Viper Insectoid patrolling the street below. Remaining undetected, the team set up an ambush and took them both out nice and neat. Callie stayed on the gas station roof, whilst Roberti, Benjamin, and Dennis move up to the gas station, providing covering fire for Jake as he dashed from the truck. We'd have a VIP for the next turn and be on our way out. The mission seemed like it was in the bag. A squad that had never seen combat before was going to have to survive the most powerful enemy we'd seen so far. Great. The Berserk Queen charged towards Jake, the rest of the squad unloading everything they had into it but barely paying a scratch on it. At this point, I noticed this made a bit of a big oopsie. Three of the squad's members were taking cover behind a gas station. If the Berserk Queen attacked any of them, it could blow up the gas station, blowing everybody nearby to Kingdom Come. And the way things were going, it was only a matter of time until that exact thing happened. Dennis, being the highest ranking and therefore most valuable soldier, was first to get clear. A single blow of a Berserker Queen knocked Jake unconscious and turned his attention to the gas station. Benjamin, being closest to a monster, was next to retreat, taking cover inside of the gas station building. Per Marco didn't get the chance to run. The Berserker Queen knocked him unconscious pretty much immediately. For a brief moment, I considered ordering Kali to shoot the gas station. The explosion from the fuel in the nearby car would, at the very least, shred the Berserker Queen's armor. However, if Mark was so close, he, def he, would, he would definitely die if I did that. It might be more fifth of the damage, but I figured it probably wouldn't do enough to justify killing one of my own guys. So instead, I ordered Kali to throw a flashbang grenade, which would hopefully stop the Berserker Queen from hurting any more of my guys. I figured Benjamin would be the one it went after next, so I had Dennis use A's protocol on him. It's almost as if it knew what I was doing, because it immediately turned around and went for Dennis. Unable to get a shot, Benjamin instead threw a grenade, shredding some of the Berserker Queen's armor. Unfortunately, the grenade also set the gas station on fire, so that meant poor Marco was sleeping on a ticking time bomb. Uh, whoops. I considered sending out Benjamin to rescue him, but figured they'd probably both end up dead. To this point, then I began to panic. It definitely felt like we were running out of options. I could have hacked the truck door open and just got everyone to book it to the evac, who were running out of time after all. However, I figured the plan would just make the VIP another juicy target for the Berserker Queen. It's not like we could abandon Jake and Marco either. So, there was only one thing to do. Stand our ground. Dennis took a shot, but missed. The Berserker Queen charged him, but also missed. Kali took a shot, and in typical XCOM fashion, also missed. Unfortunately, the Berserker Queen was the one to land their next shot, and it stunned Dennis. I figured it'd go for Kali next, so I put her on pistol overwatch. But that didn't happen. Luckily, we damaged it enough, and it was retreating. Benjamin got one last shot on it before it vanished through the portal. With that out of the way, the only thing to do was pedal to the metal and complete the mission. Dennis hacked the truck door open, but unfortunately, that didn't open it, so Dennis had to run up and open it manually. At this point, I decided to take a risk with Benjamin. I sent him out to get Mark. The gas station would explode at any moment, and I wasn't sure if picking somebody up counted as an action. If it did, both soldiers would be right next to the gas station when it went up. Thank God. That worked out nicely. Dennis managed to get the truck door open. Whilst the VIP dashed for the evac point, Dennis rushed to grab Jefferson. The only thing left to do was get everyone to the evac point. And yet another wrench in the works. With enemies right on top of our evac point, I got Callie and Benjamin ready to overwatch them. Two advent troopers and an officer landed. Callie got a hit on the officer. I realized with only two turns left, we didn't have enough time to fight the enemies. So I had Dennis grab Jake and run for the evac point. The VIP, along with Benjamin and Marco, were able to evacuate. I was a bit worried about the officer marking anybody, so I had Callie take it out. But that didn't stop the troopers from fucking up everything. A pair of them went into Overwatch. If Dennis went for the evac, both him and Jefferson would be gone down. And Callie couldn't kill both of them, much less evac in time. Callie was the only one who could do anything, so she had to break their Overwatch and get to the evac point all in one turn. I decided to take a gamble. I ordered Callie to move around in a U-shape. I was hoping she'd run behind cover, trigger the Overwatch, and avoid getting hit. It was her best chance, in theory. But in practice, I screwed it up big time. Callie's path wasn't going to take her behind cover, 
it was gonna take her over it. The Advent Troopers would be shooting her from point blank range and she had no cover to protect her. I realized what was about to happen too late. With one health to spare, Callie lived, saving both Jefferson and Dennis's lives. The last remaining soldiers evacuated. Despite everything being against them, every possible thing going wrong, my heart nearly exploding from the stress, my squad had completed their first mission. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the best mission of XCOM 2 I've ever played. What's the best mission you've ever played? Leave a lengthy anecdote in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, subscribe on your way down. Thanks so much for watching. Redo. The squad, the squad was comp- Ugh, I've squandered it already! Ah! Oh, I'm recording again. Okay, whoops. Providing covering fire for Jake as he dashes- It's not in present tense, you fucking numpty. You forgot to change it. It might have been worth it if, if the damp, you know, if the damage had been enough, but I figured it probably wouldn't, so I didn't figure it was worth just you know, killing him. I fluffed this line really bad, so instead I ordered Callie to flow, 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 whoa, flow a flashbang grenade. <laughs> I'm losing my mind because I'm so bad at reading my line. I'm able to get a shot. Lee throws a grin. Fr it's still in present tense. Uh, unable to get a shot. Lee and not Lee, it's Benjamin. Benjamin. And yet another wrench in the works. Why was I why did I read it like that? I just turned into I don't even know, like and another wrench in the box. Oh.